welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Josephine, very nice to have you here on my little corner of the internet. Um, I hope you're having a fantastic day and start of the week. So, um, it's been a while, maybe not a while because I did upload a whole last week, but it's been a while since I did my, like, I don't know, sharing my wardrobe and fashion related stuff. So, um, today I thought I'd share with you some of my autumn winter <clears throat> sorry some of my autumn winter coats some i have been wearing for years and they're a bit little bit torn um and some are a little bit newer so like last year and uh, this year but yes these are most like my favorite autumn winter coats um i do have a few others as well in storage which is um more suitable for like a proper swedish winter but it is not like it's about six seven plus degrees now in sweden so it's not even like it's not proper winter actually i'm gonna i'm gonna speak for myself in stockholm it's warm <laughs> um and i think like way up north is probably at least minus 10 so um yes but these are the coats i'm going to share with you today so please if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you liked it and get your snacks a cup of tea because we can't be here unless you have something to eat right um also look at this new flared like it is bouncing and it is living its own life and i am loving it so it's from Veramoda, actually and as you may or may not know i work with them over on instagram so this was kindly gifted but yeah so let's get on into the video that has been a favorite of mine for years it is originally from asos and i got it for like crazy cheap i think 30 40 pounds i have been wearing it now for about five winter seasons like i got it wait i got it when i was in high school so could even be more could even be like yeah it could be six seven years um that i have been having it it originally came with a belt it doesn't have really good like belt proper belt hoops it's just um yeah it's just a small string really um but it did come with a belt i think i have it somewhere um otherwise you can just pop any other belt on that you like and um it is made out of a wool blend i believe because that's what it feels like but i actually don't know apparently it's only professional dry cream there we go 57% polyester, 27% wool, 16% acrylic. Um, so it's the most luxurious. No, it's not. But this is it on. And I really, really love. I just love how it gives me this, you know, old man kind of vibe. And for the weather that is going on at the moment, this is absolutely perfect. I don't even you know nothing else really easy to style it's like a neutral and it's actually on trend even though i've got it for six seven years ago um so talk about a bargain right however i am five foot three um with that the arm length is not um really that long <laughs> so i always fold up the sleeves usually on the coats um because otherwise it gets really creased like the like will be anyway but um if i would have it all the way folded down it's just yeah wouldn't work 
So um, I have to fold up all my sleeve coats, but I also I, I don't know. I think it adds a little bit, so it's it's not it's not too bad. But yes, this is it on. I don't know if you'd be interested in that, like what size it is. But is a is you is a UK four? Is a UK four? And it is that big. Wow. All right. Now the next one is also a coat. This I got this year actually so i bought this in august and it's a little bit on the thinner side it still is i believe it's the same material like wool blend um not as rough as the brown one i just showed you but um a little bit more i have a coffee stain on there okay so um first downside with having like a white basically coat like a stone white coat to be honest like what do we expect i always spill all my clothes on my bags like literally i have coffee stains on my bags i i think i'm the only one that has that um so this is it this is from Veramoda originally and i got it this august so i think it's actually still available and i do think it's on sale because it's more of an more of an autumn coat so like i said it's a little bit more on the uh, colder side um, but again this like classic coat straight fit um, and again with the sleeves they have to now I do know that they make this in the petite version uh, however it was sold out when I got it and then I just I mean I think this looks good anyway so I didn't I didn't bother to change it but um, yeah, if you are petite, I do know that for a fact that they make it in a petite version. But if you're lazy like me, or if you can't find it, then yeah, you could just get the standard version and roll up the sleeves like I do. So, under a really, really thin coat, it's not really, really thin, but for a Swede, it's really, really thin. Um, it's not going to cut for like the colder winter months. And that's why this is in my autumn winter coat collection. Now, this I got, it's originally from Mango, and I got it for 2015 I bought it, so what's that, four years ago? And um, I bought it right before me and Leo were going to uh, go off on a trip to Croatia, because we were going to go in the Plitvice, um Nature I, Park? Is that what you call it? I don't know. Um, anyway, so we, like, I wore that when we were... We weren't really hiking, but we were walking and all that. And then it's just been, you know, hanging around in my in my closet. And last year, I realised it's a great layering piece because it's a feather down jacket, so it's obviously warm, but it's really really thin. So I can easily put. It. You you can do this the same like with a vest or something. Um, so then I would just pop this on together and then put a scarf on and then maybe some gloves and a hat I am like good to go it is is actually keeping up the warmth really really well and so I do suggest you invest in one of those next up we have another very motor coat and I got this this year and it's a teddy coat now when I first got it I was like this is not a color for me I was wrong apparently because I ha this is my coat now this is what I throw on and um, it's what I use every single day it's got my keys in it and everything poo bags for Kenzo <laughs> so this is what I use every single day and it's just really really however look at this it got these um, like it, it has creased here because I haven't been folding the sleeves up but I mean, it's all right. It's not. It's not the end of the world. I will still live. Um, but yes, this is it. Uh, it. I think it looks best with either like neutrals, like really um, closely, uh, like colours that are really, really close to this one. It looks really, really nice. Or just a plain, basic, like black and white outfit, and then pop this on for like a pop of colour. But it's still neutral and trendy so yeah now do you remember this from last year this is also i got it on asos but it is from the brand called pimkey last year i got it quite late i believe because i got it or was it last summer i can't remember i was trying on different leopard coats and i had seen one that i absolutely loved and adored but it sold out 
and then it never came back. So um, I had to find a substitute. Substitute, and this is it. So it is. I believe it is my size. This is a size 34, extra small, something like that. It doesn't say on the tag. Brilliant. Okay. Um, but I mean, you want this to be a statement piece, and you want this to be a little bit bigger. Um, there's still like good enough room for if you want like a big chunky knit underneath you can um, layer it with this feather down coat so next one again very murder so we have three very murder coats um, I got it actually a month ago and this was kindly gifted um, but I've already been using it a lot it is on the shorter side which is not something like as you can see is not I love a good long coat. It has got a freaking turtleneck. Like, how Josephine is on that? That is absolutely fantastic. I don't have to have a scarf because I don't... I don't like scarves, to be honest. So, this is brilliant that I'm not... I'm not going to be freezing. And look at this. I need just a nice pair of gloves with this. And then maybe a nice headband. Yeah. Um, also, because it's, like, black and short, it is brilliant for, like, New Year's Eve. Um... Christmas parties, you get a little bit more of a glam vibe, I'd say. Also, this leopard coat is a really good party coat as well. Um, there are loads of good party jackets out there, aren't there? Um, but yeah, I believe this is also really cheap, like £45 maybe. Um, so not too expensive. I do like my faux fur. So the last jacket. Now this I got, um, it's from Zara. I got it in Spain when we were there on holiday and I absolutely fell in love with it. This was during a time when I had a little bit of a pink period. So growing up, I never owned anything pink. I think I had like one pink t-shirt or something was jumper that I got from my aunt. Mum and dad just never bought pink. I don't know, I, did, I guess I didn't like pink as a colour. So now as an adult I have to, um, I realise I do like the pink but um, not so much anymore like I'm out of my pink period but pink period well that's a fun word. So it's a, what do you call these? Sherpa, trucker, no is that Sherpa? No it's not. Is a shearling jacket? Shearling jacket? Yeah I think it is. Um, I do love styling this pink with warm tones so not a bright white like this one um more like a creamy white uh color uh but it is really white uh, it's really white it's not really white it is really warm there we go um it is a really warm coat oh some more poo bags they seem to be growing on trees or in this case growing on jackets i got this one for 25 pounds which was an absolute bargain um and yes i do love that you can like i do love my coat collection and i do love um spicing up my outfits with coats and outerwear because living in sweden most of the time we wear coats and jackets because it is that just dull weather it's cold even in the summertime like maybe now with global warming um yeah it's it's quite it's quite warm but like most summer nights you do wear jackets so well not that jacket obviously but i do like to have a good variation of jackets so that my outfit isn't limited to let's say one black jacket but yes that was it for me today that was my autumn winter coat collection or my best jackets and coats from my autumn winter coat collection um i really hope that you enjoyed it please if you haven't already hit the subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you guys next time